Hi everybody, just a very short video today to look at a tool that can help us when we're working in a multi-user environment, uh, specifically when those users were all working on the same project at the same time. So let me, uh, let me explain. I've got a sheet that I'm working on as part of my plan set. That uh, sheet is x-referencing a site plan that I'm currently looking at through a viewport. Uh, so I'm in a layout right now. That layout is showing sheet number one. If I double click in the viewport, I gain access to model space. And if I select that particular uh, line or maybe the area I'd like to change, maybe I don't like something about the sidewalk, I'd like to update that, that happens to be part of an X reference. I can see that both by hovering over the top of it. I can also see it when I select it based on the uh, ribbon or the contextual uh, tools that come up for me. In this case, I'd like to edit the, uh, the sidewalk, make some changes rather than closing out on what I'm in, opening up the other file, coming back. I've got a very convenient tool here that I can say edit reference in place. When I do that, it gives me the opportunity to select or even drill down further with what I'd like to, uh, to edit. In this case, we'll do the entire file. So we'll click on OK, and it comes up and it tells me we're sorry that XREF cannot be checked out for editing because a file lock you know, already exists on the drawing. In short, somebody's already working on it. But the one thing that it's, it's not telling me is who that person is who's currently working on it. So if I need to call them and say, hey, you know, can you get out of it for a minute while I make these changes? So in an event like this, if I'd like to identify who, who else in my organization might be working on it, the very simple command, I'm going to hit escape to drop out of what I was in, very simple command is just who has. So if I type in who, uh, autocomplete starts to fill it in for us. But if I just type in who has, what I can do is drill down into the folder of the uh, that locates the file that I just tried to edit. So I'll select that file directly. We'll go ahead and click on open. It pops up and it tells me that the file is currently open by, this is the username, this is the machine that it's currently on, and I can also see at what point the file was, was open for edit. So in this case, uh, roughly, uh, somebody's been working on it for about a half an hour. So we might be able to glean, you know, how long somebody's been in it. Maybe they just opened it. Maybe they've been in it for a while. Maybe they, you know, left it open while they went to lunch. A lot can be gleaned from even just this, this helpful information here. So using who has, if uh, in a multi-user environment, while a lot of folks are working on the same project at the same time, if folks maybe start bumping into each other a bit and getting locked out of particular things they might need to work on, the command who has is a great resource to help identify who those folks are so that you can communicate and uh, determine who's the most appropriate person to be in at that time and um, get your job done. So anyway, I hope this is helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.